Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you three easy tie knots. I will be showing you how to tie three super easy and stylish knots. Now before I get to the actual tutorial, I do want to say that I will be using a tie that is made by a company called The Dark Knot. Now if you take a look at this tie, you can see that it's absolutely gorgeous. It feels amazing. It looks amazing. They offer a wide variety of ties so you can choose for, you can choose the tie that specifically matches the shirts that you wear or the suit that you're wearing and overall they are just amazing amazing ties and I just want to throw that out there so take a look in the description of this video and you will see a link to the dark knot ties all right let's get to the tutorial the first knot that I want to show you how to tie is called the four in hand knot now this is the easiest knot out of the three I will be working my way up with increasing difficulty so this is how you tie it you're gonna get the big end of the tie and you're gonna make sure that it's hanging down lower than the small end of the tie okay so the small end is on one side and the big end, the wider end is hanging down lower you're gonna take the big end you're gonna bring it over the small end just like that the big end is over the small end you're gonna wrap the big end around so you're going around the back of the small end and around the side just like that then you're gonna take the big end you're gonna bring it up behind through the loop then you're gonna bring it down you're gonna make it do a dive down through this little knot right here and you're gonna pull it nice and tightly Then you can just bring it up just like that straighten it out make it look good and that is the four in hand knot very easy and quick to tie and it looks absolutely great and the four in hand is not specifically meant to be a symmetrical knot so if you're looking for sort of a very modern stylish look the four in hand knot is great and you can obviously tighten it up to make it look perfect okay now the next knot that I want to talk about is called the half Windsor so once again for the half Windsor you're going to make sure that you have the wide end or the big end on one side the small end on the other side you're going to make sure that the big end is hanging lower than the small end just like that so the small end is over here the big end is hanging much much lower I would say depending on the tie length and your your height and so forth I would recommend somewhere around 12 inches lower the big end should be somewhere around 12 inches lower so this is how you tie the half Windsor knot take the big end bring it over the small end just like that you're gonna bring it up you're gonna take the big end bring it up behind through the loop just like that bring it down you're gonna bring the big end behind the small end wrap it around the front and then the big end is gonna go up behind the loop and then make the big end dive down through this little piece right here through this knot that you've created make the big end dive down just like that pull it nice and tightly and then you can tighten up the knot and obviously you can make it longer than this I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes only but you can figure out how to get it to be the specific length that you want so that is the half Windsor it looks very good it's sort of a medium difficulty with regards to these three knots they're all easy but the first one is the easiest this one is a little bit harder and then now we're gonna do the full Windsor so the full Windsor is going to be just one step harder than the half Windsor. So once again, you're going to take, <clears throat> sorry about that, you're going to take the tie, big end, hanging lower than the small end. You're going to bring the, the big end over the small end, just like that. And you're going to wrap the big end around, just like that, through the loop, bring it down. Okay, then you're going to bring it around the back of the small end, bring it up, and then you're going to go through the front of the loop to the back like this on the other side as you can see you now have these two triangles right here then you're gonna take the big end bring it over the front of the two triangles bring it up behind through the loop and then make it dive down you're gonna make it dive a big dive just like that down through the knot that you've just created pull it nice and tightly and then pull it up just like that and as you can see this is more of the appropriate tie length uh, as opposed to the half Windsor that I just did so experiment with your tie and figure out the best type of, of tie length that you'll need where you need to place uh, the big end and the small end to make it the ideal tie length for your tie and your body style but that's and your height and so forth but that's basically it once again this is a tie from the dark knot ties it's absolutely gorgeous it feels amazing it is a very high quality tie and I highly recommend that you check them out um, it is just overall a great tie and I hope that you have enjoyed this video
And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.